So this is a young student in Peterborough, Fort St. George, in Oktatuk or Saguenay, who says, uh, can you advise me? What do I do? I, I want to <gasps> sing. I want to enter. Oh. I want to be part of the musical theater tradition. I want to learn. What do I do? What do you say to that person? Oh, my God. It's hard for me because I did not do at all a traditional study route. But I think no knowledge is bad knowledge. I would encourage anyone who wants to do musical theater to go maybe to a place like Sheridan or go to a national theater school, try to get into something. National theater school to me, I mean, I've worked with so many people who came from there who really had their shit together as far as stagecraft and just, just to learn even if it's just stagecraft and the history right. and the material, the, the book <laughs> of works. But over and above that, to me, it's about seeing as much stuff as possible. The more you see, the more you go sit in the theater and watch. And if you're smart, you can learn so much by just watching and listening. That's how I learned. I mean, I have to say, that's how I learned. By being critical, but not to the point where you're sitting there standoffish and not buying into, let yourself go and wonder why you are buying into that performance and study it. Go see it again if you find something you like. And go watch that person again and again and say, why is that person so good? And I think eventually you sort of get some clues. I think you know instinctively if this is the business for you. I, th I think you need to be honest with yourself up to a certain point uh, because it's not an easy business to get into. Mind you, now every business is tough, so who cares? Uh, there is no security anywhere, which is kind of great. So now ours is no more insecure than any other business. But I would not shy away from jumping in and going for it if they really feel they want to do it. But I think it'd be, I don't know where I would go to school if I was a kid just starting out. Where would I go? I guess I'd go, I would try out Sheridan. They have a, a better and better program and they're doing so much work with new mm -hmm. musicals and stuff. If I was to go into theater, I'd go to National Theater School maybe. And, and be in a place where there is a lot of theater. See, that's the thing. If you're in a small town, then you need to go somewhere where there's stuff happening. Like Toronto, and go see all these little theaters that are doing actually some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you're in the and coal mine theater. I know. You've gone from Carnegie Hall to the coal mine theater. You do all this. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean again, looking hey, at... Hey, I'll do one better than that. When I did that Carnegie Hall, Christina in concert in Carnegie Hall, which I cried walking onto that stage, I got to tell you, because one of my f things in the world is Ju Judy live at Carnegie Hall. Hello. I walked on that wow. stage, and I swear, I sat down, and I cried. I thought maybe she just stood right here. And I don't get like that about other people, but for her, I'll make an exception, you know? Frickin' hell. Maybe I'm standing exactly, and I sat in my chair, and I just started to cry. And Bjorn Alveus came walking up and said, what's the matter? And I said, nothing. <laughs> my God, there's nothing wrong. I just need to cry a little bit, because I'm sitting here. I was starting rehearsal for Toxic Avenger, which is that crazy musical I did with the playing the nutty two characters. I was in rehearsal. I went to New York, rehearsed did those concerts at Carnegie Hall, flew back, went back to rehearsal the next day, and that night I had a concert in Midland, Ontario. I drove up to Midland with my piano player, Diane Leah, and we went to the little cultural center in Midland, Ontario, and I did a concert in my long dress in this room where they had set up tables and plastic chairs for all the people with an electric keyboard. <laughs> You want to talk running the gamut? That's what Diane kept saying to me that night. Holy shit, Louise, you are running the gamut. <laughs> yes, and that's kind of cool. <laughs> Thanks, Louise, that was great. Thank you. <laughs>